2014 will be a year of surprises, events that no one can predict. But there will be one great spectacle in the spring, an event that never fails to move me deeply. India will hold its national elections, the largest democratic process in human history. More than 700 million people at 800,000 voting booths using 1.3 million machines will cast their ballots. Aside from the extraordinary affirmation of democracy, this election is turning into a pivotal contest. A clash between a rising controversial figure and the sign of an old dynasty. The issues at stake are crucial, not just for India, but the entire world. Will India push forward to become the next China? The next big global growth engine? Or will it relapse into its old confused ways? India has been growing impressively for 15 years. It's a different place from the stagnant country I grew up in in the 1970s. But the numbers don't look so good anymore. Democracy has led to deadlock, delay, and dysfunction. Were a billion dreams misplaced? Can India right itself? Will a democracy make the hard choices? This hour, one-sixth of humanity at a crossroads. Why it matters for America and the world. We'll show you what some have called the country's Arab Spring, a grassroots movement against corruption. We'll visit an Indian state that is growing faster than China. Yes, we can! The man who runs that state is gunning for a bigger job, Prime Minister. You can clown but not serious comment. Then to Bollywood, where you'll meet India's Tom Cruise. But this guy is now using his celebrity to solve India's toughest problems. The government is not obliged to implement a law passed by parliament, which sounds ridiculous. There was one expectation 10 years ago. Jay Panda is a member of the lower house of parliament. Panda maintains that democracy has been good for India but says there have been too many log jams in recent years. In the US, the Congress and Senate have rules for how you set agendas. Now, our rules go back to before independence, and there are no rules. It just says that the agenda is set by consensus. If you think consensus is hard to reach in America with two political parties, imagine how elusive it can be in India's lower house of parliament, which has 37 parties. It is the bounden duty of government to maintain peace. In 2011, Parliament was adjourned 102 times. And it was only in session for about 15 weeks out of the year. So, the work of governance often happens at the local level. Yes, sir. For Jay Panda, that means regularly opening his home to constituents from his state of Odisha. People like these lecturers who are threatening a hunger strike over pay disparities at state-run colleges. Equal pay for equal work. Yes, sir. Then, about 14 days a month, Panda travels to see those who can't make it to the capital. And he actually flies himself. Flying is actually a little bit like some people would consider yoga or meditation. It relaxes me. And it also helps save a lot of time. When he lands, welcome, welcome, welcome. he's greeted with campaign slogans and fanfare. Panda gets on a motorcycle to make his way through the village, stopping to talk to people like this handicapped man. The government provides tricycles to those uh, who are not quadriplegic but uh, only uh, whose hands are still operational so that he can be mobile. So he has not yet got one of those. Panda will help him navigate the bureaucracy and cut through the red tape to claim his government benefit. When you campaign in your state, do you feel that what's going to work is if you offer free power, rice? Or do you feel as though what's going to work is if you explain how you're going to get uh, policies put in place that will create growth? The candid answer is both. If you only do populist policies, you may be able to get by one election or so, but then uh, 
the chickens come home right. to roost and the numbers don't add up. But if you only talk about investments that will pay off in 10 years, you ain't going to get elected. Odisha has a long way to go, but what was once considered a basket case of India has grown on average about 8% every year for a decade. 